hairpin, hairpin, hairpin. Now they're going to the big outside loop. Kenny's done. Eric's still, Eric's still holding it. Here goes Jack and Max. Oh no, that's not Max. It's Ricky. Welcome to the Brap Yard. We got Ricky out in front on the KLX 110, Max's KLX 110. It's got some pretty good, pretty good teeth on it. We got Kenny following up on the WR 250. Ricky's hard to beat. Here they are on the first back stretch. They short circuit it now, they're good. Kenny's having a hard time holding the hold the turn. Is he, gonna, is he gonna get overconfident with these knobs? Yeah. Once they pack with grease, it don't make no difference. Right. Oh, Kenny's back. He's back in action. Oh, now they're gonna race. You get stands like this, and if you don't know how to punch it out of the water and get on top and ride, you're just gonna fucking ride a wheelie down the river. That was the coolest thing about these things. No matter where you went, it felt like you were at 12 o'clock until you get up and plane it. And then you have to lean like a motorcycle. It's fucking hairy. I got into turning home fish, but still fun. And then do you know what the spark is? The CD spark? No? Oh, wait, yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's what I have. And uh, that thing is tons of fun. Every time it goes all the way up to the that one?
Oh, that little bike's all over the place. Medium hairpin. Man, nice turn, Max. Nice job, Tristan. Look at that, handling those corners. Nice job. Good job. I wind up stuck inside all the time, so it's kind of nice to be out here. Right? <laughs> Who went down? Max? Oh, he's safe. I think, um... But I, I would prefer if you guys find stuff to do out here for now. Okay. I mean, uh, next time if like if mom's home, then then maybe. Well, no, I mean that'd be fine. I just prefer that there. I'll be right back. I want to try to get an aerial shot of the whole track someday. So.
That way next year when I go to recut it. The moto heads. She's over there helping him get his Nice. A little brap stars. I think the big people are the brap tards and the little people are the brap stars. <laughs> Look at how that video starts. Uh, <laughs> out of your house, just do it from there. So he moved back here. He does all the logistics for a trucking company. Out here. You going? All right, I'm gonna follow you and get a video. Nice! All the tight turns. Nice. There he goes. <laughs> There's going to be no catching up to Ricky. All right, I'm going to take a turn, Maxer. Yep. Hey, I asked you. Nice. <laughs> Wait, it's skill versus destiny. How's it running? Good. What's See, good? I think running that uh, gum out through here has helped. Oh, I bet. Has she got no helmet on? Yeah. Come on. Grounded. Grounded. Rust away. Oh wait, you want to know why that is? Go up to go up to uh, Menards. Go to the uh, the auto section where they got all the cleaners and the lubricants and all that. And there's going to be a little container called uh, navel jelly. Oh, I know exactly what that is. You know what navel jelly is? Yeah. It's phosphoric acid. There we go. You know what's in sodas? Phos phosphoric acid. Well, then That's why it takes the rust off. <laughs> Got to be. The track's a little uh, slick today because of the because <laughs> of the rain. Where's the horn? <laughs> Eight.
It's a sleeper. Jack's doing pretty good out there. Ricky's <laughs> Ricky's bike is pretty quick. Maxer. There goes Ricky on Jack's fifty. Oh, by the way, his bike's not a fifty. It's an eighty-eight. It was a fifty, but he. Here, I'll show you. You see this part of the motor right here? This little section in the middle? That's the part where there's a, that little round piston that goes back and forth. And uh, he put a bigger one in here. It's on the racetrack. If you do that, then you'll slide out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let the bike slide out underneath you while you stay up forward in the front of the seat. Right up on the At gas tank. Get your nuts right on the gas tank. And as you ride, you'll feel little slips here and there. Just get used to how they feel. It'll teach you, uh, it'll kind of teach you how to react on bigger slips. Yep. <laughs> we'll see. How is it out there? Good. Is the track uh, holding, are these tires holding in the track pretty good? Yeah. Just every once in a while, I stop here before the pushman set up. Oh. Sideways out there. A little bit. You're doing your stretches? Yeah, my back and ass hurt. Here we go, Jackie's blazing a trail. Nice, you made it. Taking that corner kind of wide though. Awesome. Great. I always, uh, one thing I learned from landscaping is always grab it from the butt. That's, a, that's, that's the least uh, injury. Ah, it's, it's stay in you? Awesome. And now it's in me. Okay, whatever. Is that it? I only saw the two. You find something? Yeah, Max got this. All right, cool. Come on, little little buddy. So they can be close. So they can be close. Yeah. Okay. So it's not dripping gas all over. Oh sure. Oh, you got you got gloves. Nice. I agree. Well, we're working on the boots. Well, she's got close enough. Yeah. Well, we're we're looking at getting some uh, MX boots. Yeah, but you know what? Okay. What the shears? Yeah. What is it? Like scissors or like pruning shears? It's oh, okay. All right. Just make sure we don't lose track of them. We should probably just keep them out here for today in case we see anything else. Yeah. All right. Let's get riding. All right. Probably got a rock in it. It probably got a rock. You got your toolkit will uh, get that. It's not broke. It's just off. Uh, I guess it depends on how loose your chain was. Probably the dirt. Uh, probably the dirt was pushing it sideways or something, or a rock hop through it, and just roll it backwards. We're good. 
Probably your, your chain may need adjustment. <laughs> All good? <laughs> You're good though? <laughs> so you need a shoelace? So you need a shoelace? <laughs> You good, Jack? Yeah. What happened? We should probably trim that. I think we should trim these thorns off, at least the ones that point towards the track. No problem. Hey, can you uh, ask Max if he can bring a little um, something out here for us to cut some thorns? Yeah. All right, you can go that way. I saw that. After you went around me, you're like, what? You go down over here. Has it been? Oh, that's nice to have the bright colors on there. Did it get run over? No, we're good. <laughs> put it in a real, put it in a real pocket, son. <laughs> all right, all good. All right, we're looking for Ricky's phone because apparently when he went down, it might have flopped out of his pocket. There we go. First hairpin. That one's a treacherous one. There's the medium, the medium hairpin that follows the tight hairpin. Certain parts of the track here are a little touchy if someone else crosses their line. Here is straightaway. Two gears if you're lucky. Three for if you just want to shift just because you could. Big wide turn, medium speed turn. If you put your foot out, you can actually hit that one fairly good. I think this is the S turn. Yeah, this one's kind of fun. It makes you have to shift back and forth. Another hairpin. Catching up to Max. Second gear. This is the bigger tight turn, not quite a hair, but and this is if you get into this curve, you can kind of get it going a little bit, and then you gotta switch to your other side and then switch back. That's pretty fun. And then here's a really quick left right. Like left dig in, right dig in. Good job, Jack! See Jack waiting for other people to get by, that's encouraging. 
I stuck a big tire in the hole there that'll swallow 10 inch wheels so nobody will flip. There's another, there's another one right here, but I don't think it'll flip anybody. It's more likely to cut, make somebody catch air. There's Max. Ooh, nice job. Nice giving a little power in the corner, I see. Where's Jack? Did Jackie go down? Looks like they're still moving, so I like that spot right there, right after that little right after that little hump, you kind of gotta turn immediately and it's cool because if you sit on it, put your leg out and sit, it kind of digs in. Well, maybe not when it's this wet, but I'm not trying to go down today. Went down last night and my neck is sore today. Nice job. Zigzag. That's kind of fun too when it's dry and you can really dig into it. Here's the front stretch. Oh, Max took the access path. Let's see what's up. How's it going? Your hands sore? Yeah. <laughs> from all the bumps? From going like that or from the break? Uh -huh. There goes Ricky, wheelie off the pad, access trail, there I go, there goes Jackie, out through the main part of the track, the twists, the turns, the hairpins, the S-curves, I'm taking off on the, coming into the pit stop, how's it going? I was putting tires in some of the dangerous spots, I'm going, I'm going to ride right now. Is this running okay? Yeah. How's the slipperiness? Okay. Pretty slippery. You like it slippery or no? Yeah. A little bit? I want to slide around. All right. Hey, well. Matt, when you're sliding around in the back, sit up further. Keep the weight on your front wheels so you don't slide out. There they go. You're just having a hard let me try. Are you having a hard time or? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it wasn't on, it wasn't on all the way. Come here. If you slide this down gently, it looks like it's on, but then watch. Oh. It wasn't it probably wasn't uh, all the way clicked down. Try again. You can do it. Is it Oh, it's like snapped off in the back or something. Yeah. No kill switch? Uh, no, it's just got a key. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> oh, man. It's, it sounds like it's four times as big. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a big enduro. Kill it. Kill it. Kill switch. I feel like the gears are a little tiny bit taller on there. I <laughs> stock exhaust. Welcome to the Brap Yard, where we have Brap Stars and Brap Tards. Gonna widen this up a little bit in this corner so people can get some speed through there. There goes Max. And the track is so slick because of the rain last night. <laughs> 